what's up guys this is engineer jack and this is structural theory so our topic for this presentation is about cables so we have cables subjected to concentrated load and cables subjected to uniform distributed load so cables are often used in engineering structures for support and to transmit load from one member to another so just like this figure uh, ginagamit natin yung cables for bridges and cables are usually flexible and carry their loads in tension. We have also assumptions in our cable structures. So una, members in cables carry actual loads only. So walang shear and walang moment. And number two, the weight of the cable are negligible. So tinatanggal natin yung own weight of our cables. So this is the behavior of our cables when subjected to concentrated loads. Pag meron tayong uh, concentrated load in our cables, nagiging line segment yung cable natin. So parang linear siya. And yun nga, line segment. But for cable subjected to uniform distributed load, nami-maintain pa rin niya yung curvature ng yung cable natin. So just like this figure, this is the distributed load and this is the cable. Uh, for this presentation guys, uh, pag-usapan lang muna natin dito is the cable subjected to concentrated load. So sa kanan natin guys, isunod yung uh, cable subjected to uniform distributed load. And this is the step-by-step -step solution in solving the actual loads or the unknown forces of members in cable subjected to concentrated load. So, una, uh, draw the FBD of the structure or the free body diagram of the structure. Number two, solve the external reactions by applying the equations of equilibrium. So, we have fx equals zero, fy equals zero, and summation of moment equals zero. As you can see, yung supports natin is pareho pin. Kasi, hindi pwede maging roller or yung isa sa dalawa yan. And, hindi din pwede maging uh, fixed. Kasi nga, hindi nagtatransmit yung cable natin ng moment. So, laging pin yung supports natin for cables. So, yung number 2 natin na solution, uh, obviously, hindi natin agad ma ma magagamit kasi nga, meron tayong 4 unknowns kasi dalawang pin. Number 3, apply the method of joints or method of sections or both. So, we can apply both na dalawang solutions na yan. Uh, number 4, apply the equations of equilibrium to solve the unknown forces. And number 5, repeat until the unknown forces have been obtained. So, this is the step-by-step -step solution in solving the actual loads in our cables. Uh, so let's solve an example problem guys. Determine the tension in each segment of the cable shown in the figure. Also, what is the dimension of H? So this is the cable subjected to concentrated loads and we have four uh, joints. So we have A, B, C, D and support at A and D are pin. We have 3 kN na concentrated load at point B or joint B and 8 kN at joint C. So given yung mga distances except yung H. Ang need natin na makuha. So first step guys, we will draw the FBD or the free body diagram. So this is the free body diagram and ito yung mga reactions natin for joint A and D or pin A and pin D. So we have AX and AY, DY and DX. So assumption ko lang guys yan no. So yung direction na mga reactions natin for A and D are all assumptions. So, after natin ma-draw yung FPD diagram, as obviously, hindi natin mag magagamit agad yung three equations of equilibrium. So, I think magagamit tayo ng by method of joints or by method of sections. So, pwede ako guys dito mag-cut at member CD. So, pwede ako dito guys mag-cut and we will use method of sections. So, pag nag-cut ako dyan, we will consider this section. This is the left portion of the section. Kita yung AX and AY. Yung Kung sinin natin always in tension, kaya ganyan yung drawing niya. So, we can apply the equations of equilibrium na. But first, uh, kailangan natin guys yung uh, slope ng ating 4CD. It is like the designation natin for 4CD, no? FCD. And the slope niya is 3, 4, 5. So, 3 for horizontal, 4 para sa vertical, and sa hypotenuse is 5. So, nakuha guys yan para dito. So, this is 1.5, this is 2. So, apply trigonometry lang na lang, no? So, para makuha yung slope niya. So, first guys, uh, we will apply the summation of moment at A equal to 0 or equate natin lahat ng clockwise moments sa, la sa lahat ng counterclockwise moments at point A or support at A. So yung create guys ng clockwise moment at about point A is so the 3 kN na load and 8 kN na load. So sa kabila is 3 kN times yung moment arm niya is 2 meters plus yung 8 kN na yung moment arm niya is 2 meters plus 2 meters is equal to 4 meters. And sa kabila naman yung magkikreate ng counterclockwise moment is yung dalawang component ng FCD. So yung dalawang component niya, yung vertical component niya and yung horizontal component niya 
na yung mag-create ng moment niya about point A is counterclockwise. So, ilalagay natin sila sa kabila ng equation. So, yung una, yung vertical component niya is FCD times 4 over 5 times yung moment arm niya pag vertical component is 4 meters. Plus, FCD ulit, yung horizontal component niya is times 3 over 5 FCD times yung perpendicular moment arm niya about point A is 4 meters. So, simplify natin. So, 3 times 2 is 6. 8 times 4 is 32 equal to 16 FCD over 5 plus 12 FCD over 5. So, sa kabila is 38 newton meter equal to 28 FCD over 5. So, meron tayong FCD na 6.79 kilonewton and this is tension. So, laging tension guys yung uh, members natin for cables. So, indicate nyo pa din na T yan for final answer. So, after natin guys masolve yung value ng FCD, pwede din natin guys masolve yung value ng AY in AX using this section or this portion ng uh, method of sections natin. So, pwede tayong mag-apply ng summation of force vertical equal 0 or equate natin lahat ng pataas sa lahat ng pababa. So, yung mag-create ng pataas is the vertical component of FCD na FCD times 4 over 5 plus AY. And yung pababa naman is the 3 kN and 8 kN na load. So, simplify natin and meron tayong value ng FCD which is 6.79 kN times 4 over 5 plus AY equal to LF equal to 11 kilonewtons and we have the value of AY na na 5.568 kilonewton. So, kung positive yung nakuha natin, uh, ibig sabihin tama yung direction natin for AY na pataas. So, next, sobra naman natin guys yung AX. So, we will use summation of force uh, horizontal equal 0 or equate natin lahat ng forces to the right na equal to to the left yung direction. So, yung create ng forces to the right na direction is yung AX the value plus yung horizontal component component of FCD which is FCD times 3 over 5 equal to 0 kasi walang forces na magi-create ng to the left direction so, meron tayong value ng FCD na 6.79. So, ilipat yan sa kabila. So, magiging negative yan. So, we have a value of AX na, na negative 4.074 kN. Ibig sabihin, mali yung direction natin for AX. Instead na yung direction niya to the right, magiging to the left na yan. So, direction niya is to the left direction. So, after natin guys, masolve yung value ng AY which is 5.568 kN and AX na 4.074 kN. Uh, balikan natin guys yung unang free body diagram natin, nakita yung external forces which is AX, AY, DY, and DX for uh, external reactions and yung kita yung applied loads natin na 3 kN and 8 kN. So, meron tayong dalawang unknown na lang which is DX and DY. So, we can use the equations of equilibrium. So, let's use the summation of force vertical equal to 0 or equate natin lahat ng pataas ng forces sa lahat ng forces na pababa. So, yung mag-create ng forces na pataas is AY and DY ay yung forces na pababa is the 3 kN and 8 kN. And meron tayong value na AY na na 5.568 kN plus DY equals to 3 plus 8 is 7 is 11 kN. So meron tayong value na DY na 5.432 kN. Pag positive yung nakuha natin, ibig sabihin tama yung assumption natin na direction. So pataas yung DY. So, nasolve natin guys yung dy. Uh, we can also solve the dx. So, we will use the summation of forces horizontal equal to 0 or equate natin lahat ng forces na direction to the right sa so forces na direction to the left. So, yung forces na direction to the right is 0 kasi wala. And yung sa kabila naman, yung forces na mag -direct, uh, yung direction to the left is yung ax and dx. And meron tayong value na ax na 4.074 kN plus dx equal to 0. So, dx now is negative 4.07 4 kN. Ibig sabihin, yung assumption natin for dx is baliktad. Instead na yung direction niya to the left, dapat to the right. So, that is dx. So, nasolve natin guys uh, yung value ng external reactions na ax, ay, dy, and dx. And nasolve din natin yung fcd na 6.79 kN and that is tension. Pero guys, uh, yung resultant natin for reaction D, dapat equal yan for CD. Dapat i-check natin nga na RD is equal to the for CD. So, we all know the reaction or the resultant for RD is equal yan sa the summation of the squares of DX and 
and dy in the square root of that answer. So, meron tayong square root of dx squared plus dy squared. Substitute the values. So, meron tayong square root of 4.074 kN for dx squared plus 5.432 kN for dy naman squared. So, meron tayong value na, na rd or the resultant for d is equal to 6.79 kN din. So, pwede nyo guys i-pause yung video and i-calculate nyo yung itong value nito. Na dapat equal yan nga na 6.79 kN equal sa force CD. So, yun, na-check na natin guys. So, pwede din natin sabihin na yung resultant at A or dito sa support A, yung resultant ng AX and AY dapat equal din yan sa force at AB. So, we will we can solve the resultant at A or direction at A. So, automatic equal din yan sa force at AB or the cable dismember na AB. So, resultant at A equal to the square root of AX squared plus AY squared. So, substitute the value use, meron tayong AX na 4.074 kN. And for AY naman, meron tayong 5.568 kN. So, calculate ulit, meron tayong value na RA equal to 6.9 kN and dapat equal yan sa force AB. So, yun. Uh, this is the joint A. Yung resultant nga ng reactions na AX and AY, yung direction niya is papunta dun kasi uh, pag nilipat natin dito yung AY, so obviously papunta dun yung direction ng resultant. And let's say, this is theta. Iangat ko lang guys yung value ng AY or yung force kasi ito yung joint ng A and pwede din natin ilipat yung dito para mabuo natin as triangle. So, we can solve the value of theta na. So, obviously, by trigonometry, we will use sa katoa or tangent theta is equal yan sa opposite side over adjacent side which is AY over AX. And meron tayong value ng AY and AX na 5.568 kN and 4.074 kN. So, solve using your calculator guys. So, meron tayong value na theta equal to 53.81 degrees. So, need natin guys yan para masolve yung uh, unknowns, known forces like BC and value ng H. Let's use guys the method of joints and we will use the joint B para masolve yung uh, ibang unknowns. So, meron tayong value ng force at AB, which is this force. And yung unknown natin is force BC. Uh, let's say, yung angle natin from the horizontal of FBC is beta. And for AB, uh, ganun pa din, theta na nakuha nga natin, which is 53.81 degrees. We will use, guys, the equations of equilibrium. So, pag joints, guys, meron tayong dalawang equations lang, which is summation of force vertical equal to zero and summation of forces horizontal equal to 0. So, first, let's use the summation of force vertical. Equate natin lahat ng pataas sa lahat ng pababa. So, yung forces na pa pataas is the vertical component of FAB, which is FAB sine theta, equal to yung pababa naman is the 3 kN and the vertical component of FBC na direction niya is downward, FBC sine beta. So, meron tayong value na FAB, which is 6.9, and theta na 53.81 degrees. So, simplify natin. So, meron tayong value na na FBC sine beta is equal to 2.57 kN. So, let's say this is equation 1. So, next guys, uh, we'll use the summation of forces horizontal equal to 0 or equate natin lahat ng forces sa direction to the right sa direction to the left. So, yung mag-create ng forces sa direction to the right is the horizontal component of FBC which is FBC cosine beta equal to yung mag-create ng forces na to the left naman is the horizontal component of the force AB, which is 6.9 uh, cosine theta. So, yun nga, meron tayong value na 6.9 for FAB and theta is 53.81 degrees. So, simplify natin, meron tayong value na FBC cosine beta equal to 4.074 kN. And let's say this is equation 2. So, we have two equations now and we have, meron tayong two unknowns. Actually, uh, for unknowns yan, uh, pwede natin guys i-divide yung dalawang equations na yan. So, pag dinivide natin yan, uh, obviously, magka-cancel yung force BC or FBC. And sine beta over cosine beta, that is tan beta. And this values, pag dinivide naman yan, uh, this is 0.631. So, pwede nyo guys ulit i-check using your calculators. So, we have now the value of beta is 32.24 degrees. So, nasolve natin guys yung beta. Pwede natin guys ito is substitute sa dalawang equations. Pwede yung equation 1 or equation 2 para masolve yung value ng force BC. So, let's use uh, equation 1. So, substitute natin yung value ng beta to solve force BC. So, now, meron tayong value na force BC is equal to 4.82 kN. 
And lahat ng forces for cables, guys, is tension. So, always indicate letter T. So, nasolve natin, guys, lahat. Kasi, uh, nasolve natin yung AB for AB, uh, CD, and BC. Pwede natin, guys, i-check na lang. For checking na lang to. So, we will use uh, joint C para ma-check na lang. Kasi, nasolve na natin lahat ng forces for AB, BC, and CD. So, let's use uh, joint C. So, for checking na lang to, guys, no? So, let's use uh, summation of force vertical equal 0. Or, equate natin lahat ng pataas sa lahat ng pababa. So, yung pataas is yung vertical component of FBC, which is FBC sin beta, and the vertical component of FCD, which is uh, FCD times yung 4 over 5. is equal to the forces na pababa, which is 8 kilonewton. So, meron tayong values na FBC and FCD. So, this is 4.82 sin 32.24 degrees. Uh, this is beta. And plus, FCD na 6.79 kilonewton times 4 over 5 is equal to 8 kilonewton. So, simplify natin guys. Uh, 4.82 sin 32 is 2.57 plus 6.79 times 4 over 5. This is 5.43. So, 8 is equal to 8. Ibig sabihin, this is in equilibrium. Tama yung pagkasob natin ng mga unknown forces. Hindi lang dapat guys, check natin yung vertical forces. Yeah, check din natin yung horizontal forces. So, we will use summation of force horizontal equal to zero or equate natin lahat ng forces na direction to the, uh, to the right sa forces na direction to the left. So, yung create ng forces na direction to the right is the horizontal component of FCD which is FCD times 3 over 5 is equal to uh, yung forces na direction to the left which is the horizontal component of FBC which is FBC cosine beta. So, meron tayong value guys for FCD na 6.79 and for FBC naman na 4.82. So, simplify natin. So, 6.79 times 3 over 5 is 4.074 and 4.82 cosine 32.24 is 4.077 kN. So, obviously that is not equal pero halos pareho na. So, almost approximately equal din. So, this is okay pa din. Kasi 0 0.003 is almost 0 na din. So, okay lang yan. So, siguro nagkaganyan guys yung value natin. Uh, kasi nga uh, nag-ground off tayo ng mga values for forces, for our forces. So yun guys, nasolve na natin guys lahat. So, FAB, FBC, and FCD. And, check na din natin na lahat equilibrium. So, lahat tama yan ng pagkasob natin. So, yung problema na lang natin, guys, is yung last na required is the dimension H. So, ano bang value ng H? So, we have a value of theta na 53.81 degrees and we can use this triangle, no? So, this is H and this is 2 meters. So, we will use tangent. So, tangent theta is equal yan sa H na unknown all over 2 meters. So, H which is now 2 meters tangent theta and meron tayong value ng theta nga na 53.81 degrees. So, we have now a value of H na 2.73 meters. So, nasolve natin guys lahat ng unknowns. And that's it. Thank you very much. So, that's an example guys of solving a cables subjected to concentrated load. So, thank you for watching and have a good day.